For the UMass Lowell Hockey River Hawks, this 2013-2014 season continues in the weekend ahead. It is the NCAA Division I Ice Hockey Championships, the Northeast Regional in Worcester, the DCU Center. The River Hawks in action on Saturday evening. They take on Minnesota State University. We are joined now by the head coach of your River Hawks, Norm Bazan. Norm, welcome. Great to be with you, Bob. I've got to ask you, this is your third year on the job. I think back to, the, to that very first game as you had taken over the reins of the UMass Lowell program. It was in Mankato, Minnesota. Minnesota State University was the opponent. Could you have at that time imagined that in the three seasons that would follow, this program would go to the NCAA tournament, this team that you led? Well, I won't lie to you, Bob. It's, uh, if you would have asked me that day, I certainly didn't have uh, illusions of that. I, I just wanted to get the thing back on track, and it's uh, fortunately for us, um, we've done that. This team won this past Saturday its second consecutive Hockey East championship. My compatriot on the air, Jim Connolly, said at the time, you win one championship, says you've got a good team, you win two, says you've got a good program. We can expand that. Three years in a row going to the NCAA tournament. What's that say about this program? Well, I, I like the sound of that, first and foremost. Uh, it, it says we have a very stable program, one that uh, in which the, the, the players develop, and uh, we're very proud of our guys. I think we have a very good leadership core. We've got excellent goaltending, good team defense, and we've got several guys that can put the puck in that. One of the things that jumps out at me is that when you talk about this senior class that's going to its third NCAA tournament, those seniors, as freshmen, went through a five-win season. They have been part of the rebirth, if you will, of the hockey program. What does this say about that senior class? Well, it's a, it's a great group of guys, and you have to start with the captain, uh, Josh Holmstrom. He's a resilient person that uh, has really uh, stuck with it and has become a great captain. Uh, I think much was made of uh, Riley Wetmore in the past. He deserves all the credit he had, and uh, Josh should get some of that same credit. He, he's a very uh, good captain. And then you go down to, uh, to a lot of different guys like Arnold, Carr. Um, there's a lot of good seniors that have put a lot of sweat equity into this program, and, and they deserve a lot of credit. Does one teach leadership? Do you recruit leadership? Is, is that something, one, that can be identified? Or is that something that you, you kind of teach and train players? Well, all of the above. You, uh, you recruit character, and uh, good character becomes a leader. And, uh, and then you try to mentor them in the, in the right way. You know, all those guys improved as their careers went along. You know, and they all uh, developed into very solid two-way players. They were accountable to each other, and, and they've helped the team in a lot of different uh, aspects. This hockey club in winning its second consecutive Hockey East Tournament Championship did it with back-to-back 4-0 -back wins. And in, much of the focus has been deservedly so on the goaltending and the defense. But it, what struck me also was that depth that you and I have talked about. Eight different goal scorers, eight different goals. Can, the, can depth be a difference maker? Yeah, we think it, it can, and uh, that's what we're relying on to have success. And uh, we've proved uh, over the course of the season that the depth has come in very, very uh, admirably, uh, both through injuries and, uh, and just having competitive lineup. And uh, we haven't hesitated to put in new bodies on any given night. And those, uh, the guys know that, they know how competitive it is, and uh, it's, uh, it's uh, shown through in the games. I know much has been said about classic Lowell-style hockey. Does one have to have depth to be able to play classic Lowell-style hockey? Well, I think it's just one of the uh, many characteristics of a Lowell-type team. You know, we may not have the, the, uh, the all-star top scorers in the league, but we have a lot of guys that care uh, greatly about the program that uh, have a great work ethic and are very detail-oriented. When coaches build teams, some build and look for the big score and the NHL draft choices and, and whatever. Every coach builds his team a particular way. When we talk about this hockey club, we talk about depth, we talk about that Lowell style hockey. Is this something that is a reflection of who you are and what you believe about hockey? Or is it more a coach's decision to fit a certain circumstance? Well, I think it's a bit of both because, uh, you know, here you're going to end up with certain types of players and you make sure they have the characteristics you can't live without. And for us, it's that workmanlike effort. It's that second effort. It's that character. And uh, that's why you see so many guys who develop within the program, because we, we have to develop our talent as the years go. All right, finally. Uh, well, two more questions. UMass Lowell versus Minnesota State. 
Saturday night. What's it take to win? Well, we'll find that out. We're still doing our research on uh, Minnesota Mankato, and uh, they've had an excellent season. And uh, they have a lot of uh, good forwards that are opportunistic. Uh, their defense is very strong. Their gaps are strong. Their goaltending has been excellent. But everybody who's left is a good hockey club. You know, they won their playoff. When you look at a bracket with three playoff winners and a regular season winner, it's an awfully tough bracket. At the same time, you know, we're just anxious to play again. And Minnesota State happens to be our next opponent. And we'll do our research and then they go play our game. I guess finally, DCU Center is about a 45-minute drive from the Sangha Center. It means an awful lot of fans can get there easily. How important is it when we're playing at these neutral sites that we, as we did last year in Manchester, as we did two years ago in Bridgeport, as we did this past weekend at the Garden, how important is it that we have that good fan support? Well, it's, it's very important. And last year, the experience became so much more special because we were able to share with our fans. We've got some of the best fans in the country, and we hope to see them all there in, uh, in the DCU Center in Worcester. All right, Norm. Certainly, thank you for your time. Congratulations on a second consecutive Hockey East uh, Tournament Championship, and good luck this weekend. Thank you, Bob. There's Norm Bates Ham, and again, the River Hawks take on Minnesota State University, Minnesota State Mankato, if you will on Saturday night at the DCU Center in Worcester.